Welcome back, legends, to the Legacy Podcast. You already know it's your favorite host and your favorite lady, Anisha the Royal. And I am so very excited about today's podcast. Okay, so today we're going to just scratch the surface of holistic living and how it has helped me on my journey, um, my journey through health. And this is a very, very important subject because a lot of my older people need to hear this. Um, but my younger people, this is going to be very important to you because the decisions that you make today will definitely be important to who you are later. So stick around to hear more about that and let's get into it. Okay, I'm back and getting better every day. I never left, but I play it in my A. I had to switch up the flow like, okay. Thank you for sticking around. I am so so thrilled to have you here. Thank you all for supporting me. Everybody who's new, everybody who is returning, everybody who is with me through the daily inspirations, all of the support, all of the love, the comments, the likes, subscribes, sharing. It is all very much so appreciated. I am very grateful for all of you. I thank all of you and I love all of you so very much. I wanted to definitely say that before we started into today's topic. I would just like to take the time out to talk about the body. Now, our bodies, as we know, are our temples. Everything that we do with this body, that we put in this body, it will catch up to us. So I do want my young people to understand that this is a very important subject to you because although they're you're young, what you do today is going to affect you later on. Choices that 22-year-old Nisha is making 40 year old Nisha will have to deal with. And because I'm aware of that, then I'm doing what is necessary to make sure that I have longevity in between then, even though life is not certain, I can do what I can do on my behalf to make sure that I have the healthiest life possible while I still am alive. Okay. So your body is your temple. Please, please study yourself, study life of plants and in the earth to really understand you. Go back into nature. Even the different medicines and all this other poison that you're being served, it all originally comes from the earth. So do you not think that you could heal yourself with anything that just comes from the earth? All of these different chemicalized and and hormones, steroids, shot up food that is being served is very terrible for us. You have to chill out on the fast food, y'all. The fast food is lowering the testosterone levels in men and heightening them in women. And that's where we get this off balance of the masculine and the feminine, but that's going to be another story for another day. I just want y'all to be aware that the, the food that you intake has a lot to do with a lot. And then you wonder why when you eat certain things or you eat certain animals, you, you feel so draggy. You feel so heavy, like it's just pulling on your energy or you're tired. Energy was made, I mean food, excuse me, was made to energize us. And you know, energy is not created or destroyed, whether it's transferred from one object to the next. That's... Physics 101. And with that being said, that fear and anxiety and all of that 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 animal is experiencing while being slaughtered right before it's being slaughtered, that energy is compacted into all of that. Then you add all the steroids and you add all the hormones and you add all these other chemicals in it. And what do you get? A discombobulation. All this anxiety, all this nervousness. And you're putting it all in your body. And you're wondering why, why you are infiltrating all of that. Why you are portraying all of that out. Because only what's in can come out. And that's something that my great-great-grandmother taught me. Shout out to Maddie Root. But yes, you know, it is very, very important that y'all have this awareness. And I'm just going to scratch the surface on this because this gets extremely deep. Okay, and a lot of y'all really not ready for that conversation, but this is going to be a series on its own later on in the year. Be tuned out for that. But like, 
I really wanted to talk about this because I'm passionate about it. You know, I, at the very beginning of this year, am celebrating three years of being a vegetarian. And I'm telling y'all, my body has been the busy, biggest science experiment that I've conducted. I know the difference in my body. I feel the difference in my body. I feel the difference in my energy. I feel the difference in my spirit. I see it on my skin. I see it through my hair, my vibrations, which also heightens my awareness. So this gets really deep. Um, and I'm excited to spread this light. I really am because we need it. Now, what is holistic living exactly? If I'm an older crowd, let me put my glasses on. A holistic lifestyle is a connected way of living that focuses on you as a whole. Understanding how elements such as diet, sleep, exercise, and habits are working together to impact your current state of being. This sounds like this is where we get the concept of mind, body, and soul. How all of these different elements of our life, our external life, are making, are connecting into, into this one space. So once you realize that what you put into the body affects the mind, which also affects your soul, you will then start to shape how you think about what you put into your body. Because when you think about it, and this is a shout out to, um, a lot of people call him Yaki Awaken, but his name is pronounced um, Yakai Awakened. And uh, he was talking, to, he, he's amazing. Y'all should really check out his channel. And he talks a lot about this. He is an expert in healing people. And um, just through natural herbs and, and the right diet, the right diets, the right, the right food intake. And he helped me realize just your DNA makeup. Go back to yourself. Go back to nature. Go back to how you are created and and. We don't have the canines of a of a lion. We don't have the the claws to claw through the meat and all of this stuff. We have these fingernails to peel back our oranges and our bananas and you know just just how we're made up as human beings. We're not made to be savages and ah, let me go attack this deer and eat it. Like that's not even our nature. <laughs> That's not even our nature, y'all. Like, we, we can't digest some of this stuff that we are putting in our bodies. And you wonder where the high blood pressure and the diabetes and all of this, all of these uh, diseases and um, or diseases within the body um, are coming from. They're deriving from poor dieting. They've come from poor dieting. And once you put all this bad junk into your body and you're lowered and, and your body is trying to find the right energy source and, and, and you know, when you still got to function throughout your day, it's going to pull it from other parts of your body. And that's where you start to, it starts to affect your vision. It starts to affect your hearing. Because your body has to pull certain elements from other parts of your body so it can function. Because of what you're putting into your body that's killing off those functions on a natural level. Y'all, this gets really deep. It really does. Um, holistic living to me is finding a more natural way of living. You know, drink some tea. And I'm not talking about the McDonald's sweet tea. I'm not talking about that at all. You know, Sugar alone by itself is one of the worst drugs ever created. But that's another story for another day. Um, 
you know, there's different teas that serve different purposes. You got different teas that calm you. You have different teas for inflammation, different uh, teas for, for detoxing, for cleansing. Detoxing and cleansing, y'all, that's so important. Please, please think about fasting. Fasting is, is, is something, it's an investment that everyone should make into their bodies. You should not really be eating so much every day. You really shouldn't. Your body needs a break at times to be at its healthiest state. Let it break down some things, especially if you go to McDonald's three times a day, that's not even digesting in, within a week. You have to let your body break down, cleanse your body, get you some blackberries, some elderberries, some berries in general. Berries are really good, y'all. And a lot of people, I learned this from uh, Yakai as well. A lot of people are worried about their immune system, but the stuff that they are taking for their immune system is killing their lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system is what helps to keep everything else functioning. The immune system is important. Yes, it is. But your lymphatic system needs to be in place for your immune system to do its job. And it all starts with the right food that you put inside of you. Well, what is the right food, you ask? That is definitely going to be um, its own particular section. Like I said, we're going to do a whole series about this. Uh, because this right here, it gets really deep and there is no way to cover this all in one podcast there's no way to condense it in 15 minutes there's no way to condense it in an hour um because there are just so it, it's just so much information that we don't know right we've all conformed to the soul food way of living. Oh, this is traditional. Or I, I can't do that. I'm gonna like it. Just it's crazy, y'all. And the more that I talk to people about this subject, and the more they ask me, well, what do you eat? The more I understand how uneducated they are in this subject. On a serious, serious level. All in all, I am just so thankful that we have made it through today's podcast. Um, there's so much on this subject that we definitely will get into, including different types of food, fruits, berries, and their purposes and teas. We will get into all of that the very next time we touch this subject because I am very passionate about longevity. I'm very passionate about being able to heal on a natural level. So we're going to get into this journey. And I'm telling you, a lot of you will have to slow pace yourself. Start a day at a time. If you do 1% every day, by the end of the year, you're 365% better than what you were at the beginning. One spark starts the fire. And so for your daily inspiration today, I want you to remember to take care of yourself. Because if you don't take care of you, you can't take care of everybody else. You cannot. Just know that you can heal you. Just through the natural forms of earth. By taking in the right things. Having the right dieting. Even the right word play. You can speak life and you can also speak death. I want you to be reminded of that. I want you to keep that in your hearts, okay? I love all of you so very much, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and I really hope that you're loving yourself. Y'all know the goal is to be happy, and I will see all of you later.